Okay, we're going to walk back here in the back of this building right here. See if we can find the next project. I know it's back here. It's been back here for a while. Just finally going to see if I can squeeze in here with the big old dually and get it out. There it is. A nice 84 short bed C10 Chevy pickup. Absolutely no rust. Interior is in really good shape. It's actually my father-in-law's old pickup. And he's he passed away. So I'm going to do to this truck what me and him talked about doing to it before he passed and that's my blue truck sitting right there just my old shed pretty much all intact under the hood everything's still there but this truck is going we might as well just leave the hood up and we'll pull the dually around in here to jump it off did put optima battery in it but the battery of course is dead because i hadn't messed with it but i've already been on the phone with uh qa1 suspension products yesterday getting a game plan for the coil over conversion with the tubular lower control arms the buckets and the uh, single adjustable coil overs I don't see the need to, to do the dual adjustables for what my plans are. Well, let's see if we can get the uh, dually over here and see if we can make this thing run. with it a little bit while we're waiting on the battery to charge up first thing that's got to go is this 
old steering wheel wrap. Never understood why everybody always put this stuff on. Sorry, lighting is terrible in here. <clears throat> I guess a lot of people didn't like the the paper thin feel of the steering wheel in these trucks well, I, I don't know you see it used to be like a, a burgundy about the same color as the truck actually huh. I hate these things seems like they're on every old pickup old car old big truck that I've ever messed with I don't know what the steering wheel is going to look like but it's going to look better than this thing is now, who in the world is calling me some life.
this junk is coming off the the bed rails, the toolbox. I'm actually thinking about putting the old bed cover or the camper top that he had on it back on because it's color matched to the truck and I think that would be really cool it dropped down a little bit with the camper top back on it color matched uh, I think I'm probably going to end up I'm probably going to end up running these wheels on it of course I can't use those tires but I got a whole set of those old NASCAR wheels and thinking about running the 32550 15 Nitto uh, this uh, NT555R the drag radials there's a, another little goodie I gotta put on it the MSD uh, ignition system and all the good stuff I had left over from some parts off of my old pickup my old blue truck so now we're gonna get this thing out of here and get it over there to the house so I can actually clean the thing up Just my luck. I gotta start messing with something that starts pouring rain. Where do the windshield wipers work? Oh, somewhat yuck. Let's go ahead and get it down here, out of the way, anyways. Yuck. The steering wheel's nasty. wipers actually work pretty good first thing on this thing's agenda is a bath boy it needs a bath bath and a good service and then you get a tag for it I don't think the fuel gauge is right. No, we got to start somewhere. You know what? I better back in because the battery on this thing is on the wrong side and I know it probably won't crank again. So let's back it in its spot. Nasty, nasty, nasty steering wheel. Yuck. See that? Yuck. Make sure we don't back in the frank. I uh, barely see Frank out in these foggy windows. up again. Nope. Ah, uh, oh well. Just down here. That's a start. Oh, it did get him down here to the driveway. I'm probably going to call, end up calling this truck Fred. And of course, you see right beside him, there's the old Franken Ford. 
or Frank, as y'all would call him. A lot of people know this truck pretty good from the internet. A little four-cylinder Caterpillar in it. That's Frank, and this is gonna be Fred. I'm gonna try to get started on him <laughs> after the rain quits. Try to get him cleaned up, get the battery charged up in it real good. Do a couple little things to make him look a little better, a little more presentable, and get it where it'd get back on the road again, and then start from there. But that's where we're at right now. I guess we'll call this, I don't know, we consider this part one, I guess. Cause this will be the that's literally the start of is getting it out of the building to get started on it uh, next will be getting all my stuff ordered for the suspension getting it cleaned up do a little bit of exhaust work i'll probably put a set of long tube headers on it and side pipe it get the big old bumper off the back uh the little bump stops or the safety bumpers on the front bumper. I don't know if I'm going to leave them or not. I don't know. See, uh, I know I ain't got many people watching. But if anybody wants to chime in on whether I should leave those on it or not, let me know. They kind of look pretty cool. I think it might go kind of good with the, the theme. You never know when I might need to push somebody off. <laughs> uh, all right, well... Yeah, this will be the end of part one on the red 84. And we'll, I guess part two will be cleaning everything up and getting all this stuff off of the back and ordering parts. All right, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> There's not much to watch. We're going to get started and get something going. All right.